so this person says people who are relaxed like it's a flow roll to lure you in and then go sicko <laughs> mode on you when they get anywhere near a sub yeah i had this happen to me the other day um but I'll, I'll share my story after joey do you have any experience with this uh yeah all the time man i can't count how many people said like yeah. oh do you want a flow roll and you're like ah I've done like seven, eight rolls today. I'm pretty tired or I'm not feeling it, but you're like a flow roll. Sure. And then like, it's always like you're flowing around, you're flowing around and they're like halfway past your guard. And all of a sudden they just start like exploding to the mountain. You're like, Hey, this doesn't seem very flowy anymore. <laughs> and then you have that hard choice of like, do I just keep flow rolling and this guy is going to go insane or do I try and match this tempo and like control the roll? And it's, it's a hard choice because, like, if you match it, they're going to be like, oh, you didn't flow roll with me. And you're like, well, what was I supposed to do, man? You just exploded at 100% to try and take them out when we were flowing around from a guard. Yeah, this happened to me a couple of weeks ago. Like, um, it was the first roll, and we didn't really want to roll each other first because, you know, he's a bigger guy, and, uh, like, he's been training a long time. And so, like, I just wanted to warm up first. I was like, I, like I'll get you the next one. Um, I just want to warm up first. But then there's no one else to go. It's okay. We'll just, like, warm up together. We'll go light. And then uh, I, just, I, like, I throw it. Like, I'm going relaxed and everything, but I put a triangle on him, like, about a minute into the roll uh, where we are going flowing for the first part. But then I throw a triangle on him, and then he, like, just overstacks the shit out of me. He starts, like, bending my neck like crazy. And I'm just trying to let him, like, pass my guard at that point. Just, like, move my legs out of the way to relieve the pressure. But he's not letting that happen either. So he's just, like, crushing the shit on my neck, trying to use it as a submission but it's like bro i look we were going light we agreed to like a a flow roll to warm up i don't want to be like you know defending my neck right now like uh, you know where, where it's like in so much pain and it was in so much pain after and like for days it's like you didn't need to do that i could have been if i was warmed up yeah maybe stack me a little harder because you, you don't want to be submitted or whatever but like don't stack me like that before we even warmed up and we agreed to a, a warming up using this roll so but it was all good. He felt bad. And, um, you know, I didn't want to make him feel bad either. So I said, it was all good, whatever. And I'm not like mad or anything now, or it wasn't mad back then either. It was like, just whatever. But like, I would, run, I would much prefer you didn't do something like that. So do you guys have any good examples or any stories, stuff like that? In my life, as a, uh, from when I started till now, I've probably had about 20 flow roll rounds. And out of those 20, I've probably flowed maybe three times with people because I go nice and gentle and light. And then all of a sudden it's a tournament roll by you know the second minute and i if i don't it's almost dangerous because if i don't keep up and match up i'm getting thrown around or whipped around or choked out so you know violently and fast i got to keep up somehow so yeah i've had it happen many 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 times yeah you know when i was uh when i was in las vegas with jedi um we there was no one to roll with and again we wanted to like warm up first with someone else but it was like it was only me and him so we're like okay we'll just do like a flow roll but, but me and Jedi did it right. You know, we actually flow rolled. We get, we gave each other like this and that, you know, we weren't like super resisting and we kind of like started off really slow and give and take, and then kind of went up, uh, you know, more intensity, not, not like high intensity, but it would, but it went up, you know, and that's the way it's, it's, that was the way, that's the way a good flow roll should kind of go, you know, kind of gauging each other, how much the person wants to, you know, how intense they want to make it and really playing off each other so much so yeah it was really nice like for once you know asking someone to flow roll and they actually do so yeah good job jedi you know that was great jiu-jitsu etiquette which i would expect nothing less jedi is a great uh practitioner and a great uh he has a great dude i really like jedi so yeah he seems like a cool guy yeah he is he's like yeah he's super nice and me and him we we, we uh we get along really well for sure 